challenge 20 million travelers by 2020 it's a humongous number and we have to be prepared for that you know we are aspirational in Dubai we always have high aspirations and you know in order to equip our airports and airlines we need to use IOT it's the future and what better partner than Cisco who says tomorrow starts here and we are from the brand who says hello tomorrow so we want to enhance the user experience. We want to make an airport as one unit who personalize itself for every customer that's coming in. So we need to uh, you know, uh, create, uh, redefine the user experience for the connecting passengers, passengers who are transiting, tra passengers who are arriving, passengers who are you know, leaving the airport. So we need to enhance the user experience, enable them in their endeavors, and you know, make their life easy. And we have to make them happy. It's a profound word, but to achieve that, we have to do a lot of things. So let's see how the app will achieve this. So we have used the, uh, you know, we have simulated this area as the airport. If you can see, we had this four points, which we have used as like security check-in, the lounge, the duty-free space, and the travel gate. So if we, we have a role play here and the app here. So when the customer arrives, the first MAC address that will be pulled to APN, the access point, will be anonymous. But after that, that will be attached to your PNR, and the network knows who you are, and it will customize itself for you. Now you see, they come to, can you, can you go back to that? Yeah, so you see the role play. The guys come in, he receives the notification, and then after the notification is there, he logs into the account, he logs into the app, after the he logs into the app, user is navigated to their check-in distances. Like, if you are a connecting passenger, you have to go from A to B to C. So we have the APN access points through which we are drawing the coordinates and we are navigating customers. We are enabling their journey. So you can see that after the security check-in, they should be going to duty-free. And while on the duty-free, will, will it not be an amazing experience to see you, uh, airport greeting you? And then, you have the customized offers on the duty-free uh, you know, walkway. And then you can see those offers that's coming up when you are uh, rushing by that. And after that, it, you will be navigated to you know, the uh, smart gate. And then it, it's enabling you to you know, uh, this complex journey that you have in the airport. I mean, connecting flights can be you know, a horrendous experience to be. But you are enabling customers to do that. Now what we have is like, suppose I am great. We have a lot of futures, but yeah. Okay. So Congratulations to the whole team. Thank you for that. We have a two minute question and answer anyway. So, is there any question from the, the judges on this project? CMX is more than beacons. Beacons only pushes notifications. CMX provides you the indoor mapping and it will allow you to have the custom experiences by pushing the uh, you know notifications of like uh, customized offers you can pair your mac address with a pnr and you get the skywalk details and then you can customize the offers you can you know greet the customer on a digital wall so it's like the airport is adapting to the customer you are personalizing the experience but beacons you just have to push the notifications you have already an app so first time when you land on the airport you get a MAC address and you have a notification. That will be pulled out by the first access point. After you select that notification, you will be logged into the app, and the app will be mapped to your, the PNR or the ticket number will be mapped to the MAC address. Then the CMX server knows, okay, this MAC address belongs to this PNR, and that's how we need to uh, you know, enhance the user experience. Uh, how the PNR details we are getting is because we are integrating it with the existing N uh, Emirates N uh, Android and iOS app. So that from there we already get it in from the existing Mars system the PNR details and we are mapping it to the Mac Mac address. 
So MAC address is mapped to the PNR details, and it has not only PNR details, it has keywords, details, and date of birth. So we can give personalization uh, facilities like bird wishes and all. Any more questions, please? use from uh, CIC push to talk suppose I am late on my boarding call and my boarding uh, you know agent can call me for, through push to talk and alert me okay you will you are running out of time please be quick to arrive at the gate and then you know when your baggage comes on the bell the estimated time you can be there to retrieve that and then you have the smartwatch updates all real time coming to your smartwatch and it's an easy integration you know we have used we have simulated this and we have seen that if Cisco provides this SDK, it would put well with our apps and our domain. Okay, we are done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the whole team. Thank you for the video. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so for the next team, um, this is the only team, uh, uh, the last team. And it's a, a, a quite a, a, a innovative format, I would say, because there w it was a, the, the, the Dutch team, so people, this team came from Amsterdam, and then they had to fly it back, so they just uh, provided us a video that we are going to display, and, um, and yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Actually, they are not here anymore, but they just uh, did the effort, and they, they made a video, so um, yeah, let's let's watch uh, what they uh, cooked for us, and uh, and see uh, how it goes. We have sound also. Hi, my name is uh, Anil Baldewind, the white label company from Amsterdam, uh, Holland. While you watch the movie, we are uh, flying back to, uh, to Amsterdam. Um, during the, uh, the IoT Cisco hackathon, we have developed uh, a solution called the Thunderbird Cargo Solution, which is a dedicated solution for uh, pharmaceutical uh, cargo. As we all know, powerful and winning solutions at the hackathon originate from real world problems size of all significant global problems. And we started our story finding solutions at the, uh, at the world of cargo, international cargo, uh, and especially talking about the uh, principles like uh, seafood, agro products, flowers, but also, and that's where it focuses on pharmaceutical. We know there is with, without or throughout the whole value chain, there is a lot of attention for these type of products. But the weakest spot can be found at the platform between the controlled and monitored warehousing and the airplane. So the so-called ULDs that Anil will explain in the next, uh, next step of this presentation. And what happened at the platform is something that is a higher risk, especially given all the upcoming um, changes in regulation 2017, 2023. Uh, so that's where the story about our winning solution originates. The current situation handling uh, cargo at the airport is uh, that ULDs are used to carry cargo to the uh, to the airplane. Uh, while carrying the cargo to the airplane uh, at the platform, uh, the circumstances are not measured or controlled. Uh, by putting sensors on the uh, so-called ULDs, unit load devices, uh, we can control the uh, entire uh, cargo handling at the uh, premises at the airport and uh, report about that to uh, to the customer. So. 
uh, based on a certain quality assurance guarantee, you can also report back uh, how the journey went uh, and uh, what the quality assured was, uh, was like. Um, so we measure temperature and location, speed and throughput, for example, based on two technologies used from uh, Cisco. One of the technologies is named CMX uh, to measure, for example, uh, the temperature. And the other technology used is uh, EIoT to, uh, uh, to gather the uh, location data and the speed. Thank you very much for your interest and uh, cooperation. Um, please vote for Thunderbird Cargo Solutions. Uh, and if you want to uh, have more information, connect at whitelabelcompany.info. Question probably, but uh, you know. So, uh, okay. What I'm what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna ask uh, uh, the judges uh, uh, to follow me. We then we then we then gonna go into the deliberation area, and uh, yeah, uh, find who are the winners. And uh, j just before we go, I also wanted to let you know that uh, Mike Mass uh, uh, just recently signed more than a hundred uh, uh, certificates. Uh, of attendance and completion uh, for you at so the end of this hackathon. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's just did that, you know. So, uh, so thanks, thank you very much, Mike. And uh, <laughs> all right, okay. So yeah, see you in uh, about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, take a bit of hair to relax, and we'll meet you.